Doctor Who finishes its mid-season and goes on break, Supernatural promptly returns to fill the hole in my heart. We Need to Talk About Kevin is the first episode of Season 8. Wow, Season 8? It's been a long time, man. I remember watching Supernatural way back in 2005 for the premiere. Good times. We've come a long way. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the not so better. I'm looking at you, Season 6. But this is a new showrunner. This could be a whole new game here, right? So, so okay. What do we have? Well, Dean's out of purgatory after being stuck there for the past year having all kinds of fun adventures with monsters. In that time, Sam apparently had a bit of a meltdown from realizing that he was now totally alone. So he broke off all ties to the hunter life and tried to settle down with a girl and a dog. So that's pretty interesting. That's very season one. Except here, when Dean comes back and meets up with Sam, it's less Jokey jokey, you should get back into the family business, and more, you dick, we're hunters, and this is what we do. So a bit of tension here between the two, but hey, that's okay, nothing new. Happens all the time, right? Well, this one feels a little bit more chilly. Dean feels like Sam sort of pulled the dick move by dropping everything and not even looking for a way to save him. Admittedly, yeah, uh, pretty douchey and out of character for him. But this would be explained by Sam's sudden lonely freakout, so I guess it does work. But it's even a bit more icy because of Dean's experience in Purgatory. It's apparently a very savage, visceral place. Every monster constantly fighting for their life. It's like a giant war zone with enemies behind every tree in the woods. So when Dean returns, he's still very much in this jacked up battle mode. And he's sporting some scruffage here, he's carrying around this like big purgatory makeshift axe, sword, weapon thing. He's seen some shit. Although, of course, you do have to wonder, how many times are they going to pull this back from hell thing? Once with Dean is cool, then Sam gets super Lucifer hell. Is purgatory really that big of a different beast? I guess maybe. Unlike hell, you're not stuck being tortured by demons. You're actually actively fighting things for your life. So I'm interested to see if they try to bring anything new with that to this. Throughout the whole episode, they flash back to each of the brothers' experience in the past year. Sam hitting a dog with the Impala and having his little meltdown. And Dean fighting monsters, meeting a new friend, who may end up becoming an enemy. We'll see. He seems right now like a pretty cool character, though. They fought alongside each other in Purgatory. Dean escaped with him. They worked together to get out. They're like old war buddies. But, being a vampire, things might not go entirely perfect now that he's in the normal world. And as he and Dean talk about, purgatory is a very pure sort of experience. Could be kind of hard to readjust after that, so once again, I'm interested to see what they do. Crowley's back as the villain for now in this, it seems. I always do like to see him, but I am sad that he's still being relegated to bad guy. That's so very season 6 of them. It bums me out. I miss the good old days when they were all buddies. Speaking of the good old days, Castiel isn't back. Yeah, he got zapped to purgatory with Dean, but somehow things didn't really work out for him and Dean says he's basically dead. So that's something big that we still have questions about here. We all know they'll be dealing with it somehow later down the line. Probably in a big way too. Cass is a pretty big deal and all. Oh, Kevin the Prophet is back too. He's now more hardened after living a year on the run from demons and Leviathan on his own. It kind of looks like he's going to be a more permanent member of the cast now too. I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm alright with him. He's reading the Word of God tablets, which, considering this season's intro, means they should be kind of a big deal now. And it does look like the first big story arc revolves around something that's revealed in them. A way to close the gates of hell and lock all the demons back in there forever. Pretty big development here. And I'm honestly not very surprised. This is actually kind of in line with what I've been theorizing for the show for a while now. We're at season 8. This show's been going on for a long time now. It really should have ended with season 5, but since it didn't, 
we need some way to have another good conclusion. Ending the big demon threat against humanity for all time would definitely be a fairly good step towards finally giving the boys peace. You still have the other breeds of monsters, of course, but those aren't the world-ending kind of problems. An occasional vampire is something that an average hunter could really handle. I'm still thinking in the end it'll need to be some sort of huge wipe that cleans the whole world of the need to ever even have hunters at all. But this is in the ballpark of that, and I like it. So this episode on the whole? Good. Always glad to see the boys back in action. A decent start to a new season. Not as jaw-dropping as others have been, but still enjoyable. I'm stoked to see what comes next with this season. And I'm most stoked to see Cass return. I do so love that little angel. So I'll score this uh, 7 out of 10. Solid. Alright, that's it for now. See you next week, ass butts.